Now that we've cut the angled sections, we need to clean up the roughly sawn edge. You can see in this image how rough the saw has left the material. You can also see that this cut is at a slight angle. We can fix this by planing it. There are various different types of planes, from small to big. For this exercise we are going to use the smoothing plane. Never leave the smoothing plane with the blade facing down as this will dull the edge of the blade. Leave the plane on its side. Grasp the plane with your index finger along the handle, similar to the way we do with the saw. Never touch the blade as this can be very sharp. When adjusting the blade, use the brass thumb screw. To adjust the blade, look down along the plane and adjust the thumb screw slightly. Before planing, we should look at the direction of the grain in the piece of material. You can see here that there is a slight hump in the grain, but generally the grain is straight. In this piece of material, we can see that if we plane in this direction, the grain will flick up. This is called planing against the grain, and this is not a good idea. If we plane in this direction, the pressure of the plane is keeping the grain pressed down. This is called planing with the grain. Note the position of my feet, and how I am rocking backwards and forward, but my feet are not moving. This creates balance and stability. Point your index finger and grasp the handle of the plane tightly. This allows for great control. Ensure that the front of the plane is pushed down firmly on the material when entering and that the back of the plane is pressed down firmly when you get to the end. You can see that there is only a small amount of material coming off. If we adjust the brass thumb screw, this will drop the blade further down and take off more material. You can see here, you only barely need to adjust the brass thumb screw. You can see how now we have a thicker shaving. This type of shaving is about right. If the plane sounds like this, it is cutting smoothly. Again, notice how my shoulder, elbow and hand are all aligned, similar to when we are sawing. Remember to keep pressure on the front of the plane when entering and on the back of the plane when exiting. Ensure that the plane is not tipped up or down. The plane works best when it is flat, as demonstrated in this picture. Note how the material is placed in the vise at an angle, so that you are always planing level to the bench. Again you can see in this particular picture, how the bottom of the plane is always flat on the material that has been cleaned up.
plane the remaining components in the same fashion. If you need to mark the material, do so. But do not use pen. I am just doing this for demonstration purposes, as pen will sink into the material and be very hard to sand off afterwards. Again, keep the front of the plane flat and then the back of the plane flat when you get to the end. Note the hand position. This allows for great control and accuracy. If there is too much resistance, you are most likely taking off too much material. You need to loosen the tongue screw back slightly. As you can see in this particular picture, the plane has cut a nice smooth finish.